hello guys in this video we are going to be looking at how to spot quality products on tc88 what are the things you should look out for now a lot of persons have actually asked me these questions a lot of people that's always the right question on every student's mind they want to know how do we know because it's very common that when people hear that something is made in china there's this um opinion they have about the product that is going to be inferior some persons have gone ahead to import products from china on their own maybe for their first time or they used the wrong agent or they didn't just know what to do they were not properly trained then they go ahead and spend so much money and time importing from china buying all the things they need they will actually see nice pictures on those plat this platform and then when they buy back there with high expectation they will be so excited to receive their goods they've already started telling their friends about their goods and how to they've already started planning how to sell it but when it comes back they'll be filled with so much disappointment after seeing the item because they, they, they are all inferior or or they all have low quality and they can't even sell so they end up disappointed discouraged and then they dump those items the money gone and then, then they will hate importation they wouldn't want to give it a trial again because they believe everything is fake now this is the story of most persons except for the majority of persons who go through the training and know exactly what to do when important and those people that are using uh the good agents or those people that know how to source for quality so in this video i'm going to be solving that very problem of the quality of the items you're buying how do you know or how do you have a certain level of confidence that this thing that i've bought is actually um good and when, when i receive it it's going to be like that most persons will tell you that when you go there don't go and look for cheap things don't buy cheap things buy the expensive even sometimes when you buy the highly priced one because when you search for any item you're going to see different sellers with different prices some will be high some will be low so you can see some people selling an item for 50 some person selling the same item for 60 or even 85 and you can also see someone selling it for 45 so some persons will say don't buy from 45 buy from 60 no and when you buy from even the highest price when it comes back it's going to be fake sometimes so what are the things there are things key things you look out for when you spot these things you know yes this is what i'm buying and this is how it's going to be when it, when i receive it and when you eventually receive it you're going to see the same thing okay so what are the things you look out for number one on the list is certainly going to be let me bring all of them for you to see i just listed them out number one is going to be the similarity of the product now this similarity of product shows you how professional the person you're buying from is because it takes a number of years to get experience in that particular line of business and then have um, because they are dealing on particular thing for example if you enter a store that sells clothes and then you begin to see car parts you begin to see uh, electrical fittings you're going to be confused you won't know if you know that this person is definitely not serious but if you enter a particular shop and that store deals on babies item and you're just seeing only babies item you're going to have this self level of confidence that this store actually deals on babies and whatever they tell me about babies i should be able to believe them because they've spent a number of years i have some a good uh, experience in babies so i can actually uh, just like when you walk into a pharmacy if the pharmacy whatever drug the pharmacy tells you to take you're going to know you're not going to argue with him because he has spent years and gathering experience and you know being able to uh tell you what he told you so that is it about similarity of product when you enter a seller store and you'll see that this person deals on a particular thing you will have a level of confidence okay i'm buying if this person deals on bags just bags okay yes he's experienced in bags he's a professional bag dealer so i can rely on him all right then the second thing is review the good thing about the uh, platform is that it gives you um, the opportunity as a buyer to snap from your own camera and upload. This one is not edited, it's not the sellers, real buyers, real time buyers that have bought that particular product that you want to buy. You see what they are saying about the product. If they are saying negative things, sometimes you open a product that you love so much, you saw the picture, it's looking nice, then you like it, you want to buy it. 
Then you go to the review, you see people complaining, no, I bought this product, it's not good, don't buy. You're, suddenly, you're definitely going to know that, no, this is not a good product to buy, and then you dump the product. So you have to look out for the star rating and the reviews, okay? Then sellers verification. Some sellers um, are verified. I'm going to be showing you how to know a verified seller, why some are not. But I don't really consider this as much of... Um, criteria you should look up to because some even some unverified seller it takes some my some number of years for sellers to be verified then you're going to look out for the number of years that seller has been in business so without wasting much of our time let's jump into 1688 and see all these things we've mentioned so when you come into 1688 take for example we want to buy this product and want to check it out in different stores we want to see different sellers that have it so let's try to do that. Let's convert this app to um, desktop. And to do that, I'll just click on these three dots. I just want to do image search so that I can get more sellers that have that product, okay? Or else I can just do uh, review. Let me, okay, let me use this one to do the review. Look at this one. When I click on it, and it opens. Okay, so guys, let's just look at this one and see. Uh, let me show you this product review, how to look out for it. So if I open this product, it is going to launch me into the product page. Automatically, it has brought me into the seller store, right? So what are the things I should look out for? First, I want to buy a product. This product is, a, is glasses. Let's look at glasses. So this person should be digging on glasses. I don't want to go and see clothes. I don't want to go and see shoes or bags or even kitchen stuff, pots in this seller store. I want to just see glasses. To tell me that this person is a professional, whatever they tell me about glasses, I should know that they know it. So, how do you do that? You scroll down to other items in the seller store. Come down here. Look at this seller. He deals only on glasses. You are seeing just glasses. All right. Now, let me go back. Let's do image search. And so that we can see more sellers that sell this thing. And we'll start choosing from there. So, to do image search, I'll simply click on these three dots. And convert this to desktop all right so i just click on desktop site the site is going to convert to desktop and then we are going to see the camera icon here so let's wait for it to convert and now it has converted and right here you can see the camera icon so i want to do image search so that i can see more sellers that have that product now to do image search just take a screenshot of what you want to search for maybe you're going online and you see any item Look at the glass we want to search for. I've taken a picture of it. It's in my phone. I click on this picture icon here. And then I will wait. The system is going to take me to my gallery. So guys, now it has opened. Uh, look at it has opened different stores that have the same image. I just did an image search. And it will go bring up many stores that have the same or similar images. Okay so a lot of persons will tell you that okay look at this one the price is 35 and this one is 18. a lot of uh, coaches or people will tell you that go and buy this one it's, it's original but by the time we check all the things we're going to check we'll see through the if this is original or not so the first thing we want to look at is from this page now let's check the seller's verification and then the number of years in business all right, let's start checking that. The first one, how to know if a seller is verified is this bull icon. Look at this bull icon here. Whenever you see any seller that has this bull icon, then that seller is verified. Let me zoom it and show you. Look at the bull, uh, this, the bull icon. Whenever you see any seller that have this bull icon here, that seller is a verified seller, okay? Look at the bull icon. Let me show you again. It means the seller is verified. Any seller that doesn't have, look at this person. He doesn't have that bull icon. Look at this person down here. This person has it. This person is verified. This person is verified. Let's keep checking. There are other sellers that won't have it. But any seller you see that have that bull icon, that seller is verified. So already you have a lot of verified seller here. You know that all these people are verified, but this person is not verified. Then the second thing is the number of years in business. How many years? Because if, if someone just moved into a marketplace and started selling today, there's every doubt that the person knows much about the business. They just started newly. But 
the one that has been in the business for five years can guarantee you, can tell you what and what to do or know about the business and it will be true, right? So another thing you check out for is the number of years in business. And look at the number of years. This person has been in business for four years. For four good years, this person has been in business, all right? The next thing is this person, 10 years. This person has been in business for the past 10 years. He has been selling just glasses for the past 10 years in this platform. This is amazing, guys. This is good. So we've checked how to know the number of years. So most likely, you want to buy from this person because they've spent a lot of years. They, they are verified. Then the next thing you want to look at is the number of pieces sold. How many has been sold? How many pieces of that item has this person sold? This person has only sold 900 and something pieces. 900 and something yuan transaction. This is the amount that this person has sold of these products. How many, how, how much has this person sold of this product? This person has sold 1,000 plus RMB. This person has sold 1,000 plus. Look at this person, over 2,000 plus. Over 7,000 plus. This person has sold over 7,000 plus. This person is verified. This person has spent over two years, four years in business. So this person is good. This person is good. Because this amount, if what he's selling is not good, this, this amount will not be realized from this business. More persons will not be buying. All right? So these are the things you check out for. This person has been in business for the five, past five years and his own price is even 13 RMB. He has made just 100 plus yuan RMB. Just 100 plus. So it's most likely just few, uh, five years. Okay, in five years, he has sold only 100 plus. So this is not good. In five years, someone that has stayed just for, for four years is making 7,000 plus. This person is just 100 plus. So probably people are not buying much of this thing. All right. Now look at the same product, the same exact product, the same glass. Another seller here who is verified and also has spent four years in this platform has made over 4,000 RMB from this thing. And they are the same thing. So you want to buy from this person because this person is more persons than buying. This person has sold 5,000 5, plus. Look at 5,000 plus. Four years in business and all that. So this person has stayed for 10 years, selling 900 plus, and is verified. So this is how to spot um, who to buy from. And look at this person. Just one year in business. He's not verified yet. He has made 3,000 plus, which is good. So this is actually good. This person has been in business for two years, sold only 100 plus, not verified. So you don't want to look at this person actually. So now when you open the product, let's open the product now. Let's open this one. Okay, from here, you can decide, okay, this person is three years. This person is four years. This person has over 1,000 plus. So I want to just buy from the person that has over 7,000. This one is 900 plus. This, this one is 5,000 plus. 5,000 plus. Uh, this person, that's one that has made 7,000 plus. Okay, good. 5,000 plus. Look at 7,000 plus, verify, four years in business. So let's open this person and check out what that thing's to spot for. So now you know from the product page, you're not looking at price, you're not judging by price, you, you check real facts and you're working with real facts now, right? So you can check out the product, everything about the product is here, you know, the price is 20 RMB. And then other things I want to check out for, make sure you translate to uh, English. Let's translate to English, click on the three dots, come down here. Then we want to look out for so many other things. Now the price is okay. This is the name. This is it. We want to come down here and check for verification. This is how to know if a seller is also verified from inside the product page. This place will be brown. Look at this place is brown. If this place is not brown, that seller is not verified. If you open another one now, you see that here it will not be brown. Brown. 
but this is brown. Now inside here, now let's come down, look at other products in this seller store, other products in the seller store. This person deals on just glasses and nothing else, nothing else. So he's a glass professional. You can confidently buy from this person because he sells just glasses. Good. Then we are okay with that. He has passed the first one. The second one is the review. Now, how do you get the review? This is where the review section is. Product review. As three people have reviewed it, 100% um, star rating. You can click on the star rating to see those views and those ratings. Some persons will have thousands of reviews and all that. So you see this person have five star review. This is a real buyer. As you can see, this person snapped it from their compound. So this is good. This person said the product is good. You can translate to see what they are saying. The product is good. So with this, you can actually know that this is a very good product that you can buy since other people have bought it and they're happy. All right. So this is how to know this is the review and the star rating here. Then the next thing you want to look at is look at positive reviews over 6,000 plus positive reviews over 6,000 plus positive reviews. This is good store evaluation over 6,000 plus persons have given good reviews to this store. This is more than good. All right. So you can open this thing to see all those reviews. And then in here, there are things you also want to look out for. This seller is verified already, as you can see. This is the blue icon. This is this is the store name. This is the name of the product. From here, you can view all the products in the store. So this place general, the general review of this store is 4.0 uh, stars, which is good. Anything from 4.55 star to 4. Now, when it goes to below 3.5 star rating, then that store is not good. Now, what it means is that not the product actually, this is a store rating. They are rating people's rating for the store. Maybe their quality of service, how fast they deliver and all that, how they take care of customer. That's what amounted to this review. Then the factory information, this is the year the factory was established. The year they registered and started business on this platform is 2018. So they spent over five years in this platform. Now, um, this is basic details, 16 in the total number of devices, 13 certificate pattern, they've gotten so much certificates and all that, all the details you need are all here, guys. Everything you need. Then return rate is 46%, which is good. Return rate is how often people that bought the product comes back to buy again. 46% is good. So this is all you want to look at. This store, I can now confidently buy this product and know that I'm going to get a good product because number one, they, they deal on the same products. Number two, they have good rating, positive rating as a matter of fact. Then number three, they are verified. Number four, which is that they have good store rating, very, very good store rating. All right. Yeah, um, this is another product. This is the hair trimmer. As you can see, you can check out the video, the pictures, and everything. Now, I want to check the look at the price. The price is a range, it means they have variation. They have maybe the one that have light, the one that doesn't have LCD. It's just like that. But let's look out for the things we want to look out for. I want to make sure this person is a dealer on hair clippers. As you can see, look at inside his store, he has just hair clippers, nothing else, just. Hair clipper. So this person is good to go. Is a is a, a dealer on hair clippers. You can confidently buy. But first, let's check the review. Whoa! This person has over two hundred plus reviews and ninety eight point one star rating. This is amazing. And these are buyers. These are real buyers that have uh, gotten the products in their houses. And uploaded the picture let's open the reviews and see just click on that percentage look at them these are buyers these are buyers they even uploaded they are real pic this person got it got bought to uploaded the two picture gave it five star rating so this person is happy after receiving this product look at this person got it in their house this is the person's house you can open the picture to see 
they, are, they bought it and they are happy they uploaded it and give it five star rating so this will give you the confidence to buy right because you know that some other persons in other places look at this person this person bought it on the uh, on the 13th this person bought it on the on the first so these are different dates you can't it is not false these are real buyers in their different houses as you can see there are so many star reviews star ratings is good and you're going and you're going to like it when you receive it all right so let's come back and check this seller is not verified so if you come down here you can see this seller is not verified i told you this is not brown if you were to if they were verified to be brown and probably they are still undergoing the verification process we can't judge them by that but they have 4.5 star rating remember the, the other guy that was verified has had has a um, 4.0 star rating but this person with this product their store have 4.5 rate rating so people are happy with their store it means that they always deliver what you buy they deliver fast their customer service is good and their product is excellent People receive exactly what they expected. So the people are giving them this star rating. This is the return rate. The return rate are the people that come back to buy after buying and receiving their product. They joined this platform since 2019. They joined this platform since 2019. So they've been here for over five years and not verified yet, which is good. They are still undergoing the verification process and will be verified. So we cannot judge them by that. We can still buy. This is the number of staff they have, over 20 staff working for them. And then um, they have similar products. So we, we are good. I think if I'm to buy this product, I'm going to buy from this person because it's a dealer on just hair clippers. And the reviews are amazing. They have amazing review from customers. Okay. And their price is good. Their product looks good. Everything here is fine. So this is to tell you that when you buy this clipper from this person, this hair trimmer, you're going to get exactly this thing that other people got and they are happy. So when you get it, you're going to be happy. So these are the things you check out for, right? Now let's look at another product, guys. When I open this blender, I want to check out this seller to see if I can buy from them. I'll look at, okay, let me go to similar products. They have similar products, good. So they deal on blenders and, you know, microwave and so these are kitchen utensils this is good this seller is good he has passed this one the next thing i want to look at is the reviews they already have 10 reviews plus if i open it i can see the people that reviewed it these are the buyers these are real buyers that came back to testify this person is even giving five star rating and this this product alone has over 4.6 star rating which is good this rating we are rated by real-time buyers. As you can see, this person uploaded real picture from their house when they received it. This person bought two um, bought this thing with two cups for the price of ninety one. And he says, if you translate this thing, the person is saying nice things about this product. So with this, you already know that someone has bought it and received it, and the person is happy. Give it five stars, so you can confidently now buy. This is one way of knowing all these people that bought it. Now, this person is giving it one star. It could be because um, it could be because maybe the delay or he wasn't happy, but it may not necessarily be because of the quality of the product. So even those, you have to check. Sometimes some sellers can be very dubious. They can come and comment all this thing by themselves or they will tell their friends to comment for them. So you check the time that the comment was dropped this one was dropped i think i, I wish i was i could translate this thing let me okay when if you're doing this on chrome i'm using the app to do this if you're doing this on chrome you can see the dates it was uploaded this was on the 11th this was on the 9th this was on the 1st this was on the 10th so these are different dates and you also check the name this name now this name is different from this name. These two names are the same. It could be the same person. This one is different. So you can see that there are different, these are different customers from different places. Sometimes you'll even see some Nigerians commenting here. 
if you receive your goods, you can also if you're happy with the goods, you can also come back here and give this the seller a good rating. Or if you're not happy with the goods, you can as well come back here and then say something bad so that others will see your comment and not buy the goods. So the review here is good. If I were to buy this product, I'm going to buy with confidence because I've seen someone else that bought it and it's good. So the star the store review and the rating is great. Then you come down and check if this seller is verified. So as you can see here, this seller is not verified. Here is white. All right. Here is white. White color. The other one that was verified is brown. Here will be brown. And you'll be seeing that bull head. But this seller has spent five years in this place and not verified yet. There could be so many reasons for that. But we don't know. But from the uh, things I've seen, I think I won't judge him by this verification because there are so many things to undergo before being verified. Maybe he's in the process, okay? So the return rate, 19.0, okay? Store rating, 4.0, good. So this seller is good. I can buy from this seller because I'm satisfied with all the things I've seen. The most important is that he deals on similar stuff and people have bought it and they're happy. So that's good. So that's basically it. This seller is good to me. I will buy from this seller knowing that I'm going to get a good product. So I can as well chat the seller. Just click here to chat them and tell them to send you real pictures of what you want to buy. So when you come in here, just click on this, this one to drop the link. You drop the link. They will, this is a default message. So automatically, you know that this seller speaks English. All right, so I I want to translate. I'll just say hi. Please send me the real pictures or video. I want to see. So you send it to the seller. The seller can as well send you real pictures and video when they come online and see this thing to help you further uh, make sure that what you're getting is good okay now you can also ask them if this thing is real copper okay so that's it so these are the things you look out for guys thank you for watching this video if you have more questions or any other concern please reach out to me and i'm going to throw more live the video is already too long so i'm going to stop here have a good day